Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, okay. Hey guys, welcome to Kirby's Epic Yarn. I'm the Clean LP guy, and in this episode, we are going to Stellar Way in Spaceland. Yes, this is actually um, another one that I did before. I already tried to record it, and then unfortunately, the recording failed. So, here we go again. Um, anyways, we got this waddle do here. Um, this is actually a, a, a really easy level to get uh, 100% on. Um, if you have an object, you can throw it at these guys, and it'll make them uh, dissipate, I guess you could say. I think it's dissipate. It's either like... Yeah, it's something. Um, but you can't... You can't um, usually... Uh, you can't duck there to get out of the way of one of those guys. So, that's kind of a bummer deal. Um, anyways, you get on this really tall building there. Or, it looks like a building. Uh, you can't grab those guys either, which is actually kind of a bummer. But anyways, you can get on that really tall building there, and you can get that one thing to up trigger. Um, throw that thing back at the guy so that he, uh, doesn't charge you. Anyways, watch out for these meteors. Whoa, dude, no, shoot, ow, hey, ow. Anyways, um, jump on this little star and come over here. There's actually a se- well, I don't know if it's a secret. It's not really a secret. It's, it's more of just a- I don't know. Maybe a little known fact, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, uh, grab this and you can get some uh, uh, beads that are around here. I was again about to call them star bits. Uh, anyways, so these little flying things are continuous. There is a level later where they do disappear, but it's not this level. So, anyways, if you swing out and come over here, you can actually get the star. Um, I was trying to check what the heck was I was do what up what was up there, but I uh, decided against it because I wanted to get that star. Whoa! I totally missed that ladder. Um, I'm trying to go back to the ladder actually, but I can't uh, seem to do that. So I'm just gonna go all the way around. Um, it doesn't take that long, especially if you're swinging. It seems like it goes faster. Anyways, this part's pretty fun. There is a treasure, I believe. There's a treasure way at the top. That we can get. Um, it's actually kind of a fun treasure, I thought. Um, grab him, and you can throw him at the other guy, and they will. Th those the UFOs are actually very, well, not very homing, but they are homing, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, whoa. Uh, okay, let's go up there if we can. Ah, UFO. Nah, UFO. Anyways, uh, whoa. You can actually jump over that. Uh, sorry about that glitch there. Um, hey, get up there. Anyways, there's a glitch here, too. I go behind the uh, fabric of time and space, whatever you want to call it, and I get over to this thing. It's a tunnel that you basically go behind. See, if, if you can kind of see that. Anyways, that's what you have to do for that one. Just get to the top there and go behind the fabric. Um, grab this guy's instrument and throw it back at him because he's a jerk. Um, there is a spot that kind of confused me because I did play this, but I've kind of only gotten all the treasures, I think, once on this. But I'm not sure. Um, up there kind of is confusing, but um, you don't have to backtrack to try and get up there. I'll actually uh, end up showing you how to get up there because I don't think there's a tr Wait, maybe there is a treasure. Um, if you noticed, I don't know if you did or not, but if you could see, if you looked at the treasure um, list, list of tre treasures, whatever, when you press the uh, plus button, um, you would see that um, we actually got the second treasure. Which is actually very confusing. Um, you're probably like, shoot, did I miss one? Actually, you didn't, and I will show you what what actually uh, what actually they were doing. Um, as you can see, those are very homing right there. Um, they actually can home in on a couple different objects at one time. Anyways, this is a little swingy thing here, as you can probably tell. Uh, anyways, open this up, and there's the CD, and you're like, wait, I got the CD and the other one before anything else. What the heck? Am I missing something? You're not. If, I mean, that's like if you played this and you don't have a commentator over the top to tell you that. You're not missing anything. I didn't know that myself because I didn't remember playing this level in a Well, I haven't played this level in like a long time. Um, which I would have. Whoa! Whoa! Jeez, a little Friday, dude. Uh, anyways. Um, yeah, basically what I'm trying to do is just get all the beats that I can find because I'm not exactly certain with the first time I did this how, uh, how much how many beads there were. Uh, you can't jump over that, so I would suggest just grabbing the button and staying there. Um, it doesn't go around that slow. I think it is actually right over there. Yeah, where that star is, is the third treasure. So, um, just uh, kind of hop around grabbing this stuff. And there it is. There's the other treasure. Um, the first time I did this, I really went on a limb to try and find that thing. It was actually very funny because uh, I almost died like three times or almost fell off three times. Anyway,
Anyways, this level is semi-long, but it's not too bad, actually. I mean, it feels long, but it's not... It's nowhere near, uh, cool cave length. Um, some later levels can get that long, but not in space land, which is actually kind of nice. Um, I think you don't need that ladder, but you can get on the ladder, and then there's a, uh, I think it's the five-star thing is up here. Yeah, it's the five-star. Anyways, um, you can jump off the side, I think, or you can, uh, oh, I wish I could have. Could I get, nope, I can't get over, so I'm just gonna have to grab this, uh, button. Anyways, um, oh, what was I gonna say? There was something I wanted to say, and I can't remember what it was, but anyways, um, oh, shoot, I know there was something I wanted to say, and now I can't remember what it was. Um, anyways, this isn't too bad of a level, really. It's, it's actually really fun. Um, this is actually, this episode is, uh, as you can probably tell from the bottom, it's, it's a little bit longer than 15 minutes, but it's not too bad. Um, watch out for meteors there. I hate how I lost so many stars from that. But somehow I didn't lose a whole lot of, whoa, I didn't lose a whole lot of beads, so, um, anyways, that's kind of nice. Um, if you grab this button, though, and you swing up there, you can actually change the meteors back to beads. It doesn't last very long, though. I'm trying to collect a whole lot of beads here, but it doesn't last very long, so I would suggest actually just going through, because there is something that will give you a lot of beads later. Um, and I won't spoil what it is, because we are coming up to it really soon here. Whoa, whoa, that was close. And then there are, of course, meteors right here that we want to watch out, or you would want to, I would want to, we'd all want to watch out for if we were playing this game. So, anyways, here's a Metal Matrix, and this has got to be one of my favorites. Um, I, it's probably tied with the, um, with that, what is that, a trike or something? Anyways, you want to, it's basically like, uh, what is it called, Galactica or something like that, where you're just shooting stuff. That's pretty fun. It's, uh, it's quite a bit like that game. Um, you're just shooting the little bee-looking dudes, um, while they're going by, and you can easily get gold. If you just stay right in the center here, you can hit all of them. Um, yeah, you can easily get gold. There are no treasures on this, but it is a really fun, uh, style of gameplay, I would have to say. I really liked it. Um, watch out for these UFOs. They shoot three beams. Whoa. Um, anyways, I dodged that. I don't exactly... Whoa. I dodged that one, too. Anyways, um... You can dodge the beams and stuff really easily, um, as long as you find, like, pockets that you can fit into. Um, I wanted that, but, um, anyways, there we go. We got all that. Um, just, like, follow where the bees are, or whatever they are. I think they're more bees than anything, really. Um, you can move forward and backward. I would suggest staying really close to the back, though, just because it... Wow, that was fast. Um, these guys, they shoot five... Uh, what are those little things? I don't know what those things are called, but they shoot five of them. So you want to watch out for that. And then there's two of them here, so you want to kind of time yourself there. Whoa! I can't believe I dodged that. Anyways, there we go. And then they give you three ten beads, I believe. Fit into this pocket if you shot it like I did. And then you can just kind of just shoot all a bunch of them. Um, I kind of got into a two person or a two set of bees there, and so I got that. Um, I was actually looking at something. I don't remember what it was, but I was actually looking at something when that came up. So I got really, like, surprised by that. Anyways, you can go forward into the thing, a Moab Jigger, I don't know what that's, it's a wood rod, I guess, that is that changes you out of the Meta Matrix. And we get the five star. Cool. So that gives us a little bit more beads. Um, we got 318 streak, which, 300, the, the streak is basically any beads you get, I think it is, I think it's basically what it is, is any beads you get after you get 100% or, or just like collecting a few beads, I think it's any beads you get. It's like a percentage, maybe, of those beads or something. I don't know exactly. Anyways, we got all the treasures. I showed you where they all were. And as you saw, the little star plant thing was... Oh, and we got a Zeke. But anyways, the star plant thing was like the second treasure. So they kind of mixed up the order. Kind of to... I don't know. I don't know. Psyche out or something like that. Anyways, um... Sorry about that little glitch there. Um... But, anyways, we're going to Meta Knight. Meta Knight! Fight me. Anyways, um... Sorry, brawl. Uh, anyways, so if you can see, uh, Meta Knight is flashing between yellow and red, and there is a reason for that, which we will hear later. Um, anyways, he's got red eyes, whereas he usually has yellow. Um, it's pro it's best to be going fast with the little car when he's trying to hit you with the sword, or he's coming behind you with the sword. Um, it's really hard to, like, figure him out. Um, if you don't have any beads, it doesn't really matter if he hits you or not, but I would suggest trying not to get hit as much as possible. Just because, um, it's, it's also really hard to try and hit him for some reason for me. 
the night I did this, I was just having a hard time uh, hitting him. Anyways, uh, we can. He will at some point block your uh, throwing of those uh, yarn beams, but um, for the most part, he won't. I don't think. Yeah, see, like that, he blocked it there. I don't exactly know what. I think he has to be floating in order for him not to block it. I think is the thing, so, um, you kinda gotta try and hit him in the air. Whoa, I was really close to him right there. I guess one thing that you could do is you could, uh, try and get really close to him when he's ready to do that, and, whoa! Um, okay, so I guess if he comes close to you and wants to hit you, you can also use that to your advantage of trying to, uh, get him. Anyways, he will get this new colored sword. Um, basically what this sword does is he will try and pretty much do the same attacks, but these beams will follow you and he'll do two little ones. Uh, anyways... I'm trying to figure out... Whoa, one big one right there. Anyways, he'll come close to you, I think. Um, anyways, uh, I don't think he norm... He doesn't normally... Ow! He doesn't normally come up to you and try and hit you, but he does there for some reason. Um, oh, I lost one star bead. Whoa. Um, you can usually dodge... Whoa! Ow! Stop it! I would like to stop having my audio and video glitch, please. Uh, anyways, I'm still at bronze, which is actually relatively good. Wow, I totally missed there. Um, you can grab one. Oh, how did I not grab that? I think I, I'm pretty sure I even said grab. Um, I'm not sure if this actually works, but it kind of looked like it did. I don't know if I was still hurt or damaged while this was going on, but um, it looks like, or it appears to me, that you could um, whip when he's doing the little slash thing with his sword and potentially hurt him. Ow, stop it! Let me get my money. I want my money. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that was so close. Um, I don't know. I Like I said, I don't know if that works, and I didn't really try it again later. But, dang it. Come on. Whoa. Um, I don't think hanging out in the corner works either for that, because I'm pretty sure he could probably hit you long range there. Or, not long range, but, like, hit you there. There. No. Okay, I guess he has to try and come down after you, like, there. Ow. When you have to shoot the, uh... When you have to grab the beam and stuff. Anyways, uh, he will come after you, of course, and shoot the beams. Uh, whoa, whoa, I actually got that. Oh, dang it. Okay, grab this beam and wait for him to come down after you. No. Wow, I fail. Anyways, okay, wait. Nope, he slashed that. I'm surprised he didn't actually hurt me with the way his sword was. I actually would have thought he would have hurt me. Um, I don't know if there's a way to catch him off by surprise unless you hit him with these things. Um, wow, I actually, uh, got him somehow. I don't exactly know how that worked. But, you, anyways, you want to try and get... Go over him. Uh, anyways. Uh, this is an oh, interesting sword. He can whip with it. Um, he will do this a couple times. So you want to stay in a corner, uh, where he can't reach you. And then you'll shoot these. Ah, dang it. Okay, but I've still got this. So if I can shoot him with it. Or shoot it. Nope. Oh, gosh. Uh, he will whip here, so you want to stay in the corner again. Whoa. Whoa, and then he'll do a down slash, so you want to watch out for that. You gotta, you gotta see the signs, really. It's, um... Whoa, go up. Whoa, oh my gosh! Okay, we actually, or I actually hit him there. Um, he was actually kind of off guard, because he had just done an attack, so it might be after he just does an attack you want to get him. Okay, this red sword is actually very complicated. It can do a, quite a few things. Um, he can make a little tornado, and then he'll shoot a beam at you, and I don't know how he didn't grab the beam. The tornado will actually keep you from uh, moving along uh, in stuff. Uh, anyways, I kind of prematurely grabbed him there, but I still got enough beads for... Uh, the patch, so it's not that hard to get 100% uh, on him, really. He's actually a very simple bad guy to get. I think he's, like, probably the easiest bad guy to get 100% on, and he's actually my favorite boss, um, to p fight against, so he's pretty cool. Anyways, we got gold, we got, um, the patch. Well, I mean, we didn't get the patch this time. It was actually, um, I think it was a satellite patch is what it was. Anyways, we got the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. And Patchland was stitched back together thanks to Kirby and Prince Fluff.
Thanks, Kirby. I couldn't have done it without your help. Kirby and Prince Fly jumped for joy, but their celebration was cut short when Meta Knight awoke. Kirby, forgive me. I blame the yarn. Meta Knight explained to Kirby that Yin Yarn was taking over Dreamland. This upset Kirby. He had no idea how to get back to Dreamland. I've got it, Fluff declared. Prince Fluff pulled out a sock, just like the one Yin Yarn had stolen from Patch Castle. Socks always come in pairs, and now that Patch together, the sock's magic had been restored. Be careful, Kirby. One mean piece of string. He'll be fine. I'm going with him, Fluff said, and they all set out for Dreamland to a Yin Yarn story and for all. I really like how it seemed like... Okay, so I kind of had to cut it to the back where we were at Dreamland just because of the fact that the, the way it was, just, it failed on me. So I couldn't exactly show you how it happened, but I went to Dreamland just so you could kind of get a view of it. There was a sock that leads you back to Quilty Court. But anyways, we're back in Spaceland. I just wanted to say I like that Prince Fluff seemed like he changed because he said he didn't need Kirby's help at the beginning and then he does. But anyways, next time we'll be going to Moonbase. See you guys then.